Okay, are you ready for your engineering lettering? So, sige, i-ready na natin ang ating engineering lettering. Um, please take down notes. Kumuha ng inyong mga notebook at ball pen at i-take down notes ninyo. Or kung hindi man, at least um, sundan nyo itong binabasa. Okay? So, for engineering lettering, meron talaga tayong different letter styles. First is the Gothic, Roman, Italic, and Text. Okay? Sunod-sunod na. Gothic, Roman, Italic, Italic, and Text. So, ano yung pagkakaiba niyan? So, classification of letter styles by division of group. So, first is the Gothic. So, all letters having the elementary strokes of even read and are classified as Gothic. So, made with style A or B speedball pen. So, ito yun. Ito, as, as you can see here, yan, papalakayin ko para makita ninyo. As you can see here, that's the Gothic. The second one is the Roman. Roman, all letters having elementary strokes uh, accented or consisting of Heavy and light lines are classified as Roman. So, ito yun. May thin and may thick. Okay? May light and may heavy lines tayong nakikita. And that is uh, the Roman. So, for Italic, okay, naka all slant, slanting, so naka slant siya. All slanting letters are classified as Italics. This may be further designated as Roman Italics, Gothic Italics, or Text Italics. So basta naka slant, it's, yan, naka Italics, Italics siya. Ito yun. Ito yung uh, kanyang sample uh, lettering. And for the text, this term includes all styles of old English, German text, Bradley text, or other various trade names. Text styles are too illegible for commercial purposes. So, ito ang kanya, yung may mga styles. For our engineering lettering, ano kaya ang appropriate lettering style? Okay, letter style for our engineering drawing. Okay, text on drawings. Ano ba ang um, ibig sabihin ng text on drawings? So, to communicate non-graphic information as a substitute for graphic information in those instances where text can communicate the needed information more clearly and accurate and quickly. Thus, it must be written with uh, with legibility, shape or space between letters and words, then uniformity, size, line, and thickness. Okay? So, usually, kung makikita ninyo sa inyong mga designs, kung meron na kayong nakikita ang engineering designs, uh, may mga text doon. And lumalabas doon yung mga dimensions. Sa dimensioning, kinagamit natin siya. Okay? Uh, sa ibang labels, Pagdating sa mga labeling, ginagamit natin ang lettering. So, lettering is very important. But, there is a standard na kailangan natin gamitin for the engineering lettering or engineering drawing. The ANSI standard. Use a gothic text style, either inclined or vertical. So, in our style, we will use the gothic text style use all capital letters. So, gothic, ibig sabihin, either mag-slant man yan or mag-incline man yan or maging vertical, uh, gothic ang gagamitin natin. Use all capitals, uh, capital letters. So, ibig sabihin, capital letters po ang gagamitin natin for our engineering drawing. Use 3mm for most text height. 3 mm text height uh, pagdating niyan doon sa ating mga drawings. So, mas malalaman niyo yan sa mga susunod na topics natin. 3 mm. Okay? 3 mm. 
space between lines of text is at least one third of text height. So, space between lines of text. So, as you can see, uh, dito sa standard, ay naka-indicate na dyan kung ano ang mga height. Text height, then space between lines. Because uh, ganyan po kahigpit pagdating sa engineering drawing. So, it also test your patience, your discipline, okay? In following instruction. But in this course, as you can see in the box, na yung nakapin pa dyan, um, ito yung gagamitin natin. Use only a vertical gothic text style. Hindi tayo gagamit ng inclined. But in this course, gagawin yung mga uh, outputs, gagamitin lang natin ang vertical gothic text style. Okay? So, use both capital and lowercase letters. Depende sa ibibigay ko sa inyo. So, we can use both capital and lowercase letters. So, hindi lahat ng nasa A and as SI uh, standard ay gagamitin natin. But in this course, just for this course, i-remind okay, pa paalalahanan ko ulit kayo, you can use both capital and lowercase letters. Depende sa situation or depende sa ibibigay ko sa inyo. And, uh, okay, same. For letters in title block, it is recommended to use 5 to 8 millimeter text height and space between lights of text is at least one third of text height. So, doon na, parehas na tayo po sa ANSI. Okay, that is for the lettering standards. Okay, so basic strokes, doon tayo sa next video manood. Okay?